Hey, so I have a request for things that you can shout during training uh, for uh, that are Thai, that like Thai people yell when they're training. Um, this person asked, they said the only thing that they know is oi, oi, which a lot of people know. But uh, some fun ones are tang, tang, which is when you knee. Uh, it means like to stab or you can siap when you get like a straight knee into someone's gut. You can say siap, which means like to skewer. Um, you can also say tango bai, which means uh, that your knee got in, like it passed uh, the person's um, block or something. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you don't yell tube while you teep, it doesn't count. So you can yell tube as you're teeping. Um, and one of my favorite sounds that you can make is for clinch fighters and knee fighters, and it's as you're like stalking after someone. So as you're getting your kind of like motion going like this, you go, ha 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 ha. This is like a war drum to me. <laughs> when I hear that or when I make that sound, that is the like, as Joe Hong Tong called it, hungry boy. That's like when you're going in to smash somebody. Um, so that's a short vlog of things and sounds that you can make or things that you can say while you're training. Um, certainly if you're going to throw an elbow, say sock. You basically just call the move that you're doing as you're doing it. Uh, so sock uh, and tang and siap. These are all really good, but my favorite is <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> all right, so there are some more things that you can uh, yell and add into your training as um, Thai phrases or words that you say in order to uh, play with the person you're sparring with or holding pads with or something. So um, here are some of my favorites. <laughs> so if you hit someone and they like kind of get like it, it would be something that would make someone run. In Thai they say drunk and that's mao. So when I hit someone hard I'm like oh mao mao mao. Which is <laughs> like uh, they're rung and you have to chase after them. You can also say the word for doctor which is ma, which is like if someone's cut. Uh, so you're like ma ma which is like stop the fight and go check the doctor. Um, I pronounce it a little bit weird, so don't take my pronunciation perfectly. Um, but if you cut someone, you uh, pretend that you've cut someone in training, you can say dag lao. Dag is to cut. Um, and you can also do the uh, wordless karahat, like point to it, like point to the cut. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite things to do. Um, there are two ways that you can start taking your lead. So you can say pa lao, pa lao, pa lao, which means like you've done enough and now you can start backing off. It literally means enough, pa lao, pa lao. Or you can start chiding your opponent and say pa lao, pa lao, which means like you've lost, which is like pa lao, pa lao, like you're losing. Um, when you get tied up in the ropes, like in the clinch or something and the ref would come break you, what Karahat likes to say is gamagan yak, which means like the referee is breaking you, gamagan yak. Or you can be the referee and you go, you, 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 which means stop. So you, 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 uh, if you get tied up in the clinch or something like that. Um, I like to yell at people who are running away from me, bye nye, which is like, where are you going? So um, if you teep someone and they go really far, you're like, bye nye, uh, where the hell are you going kind of thing. Uh, and uh, let me see if I can think of something else. So uh, Kevin reminded me one that I like to say in particular, <laughs> this is not something that a lot of people say, but I say, uh, which is when um, I've done something pretty dynamic, I say, oh, took on hell now, which means like everyone saw already. Um, or if like I fall and the, um, I don't want it to be that the referee has like counted it or something like that, um, I'll say, gamagan my hen, just like the referee didn't see, gamagan my hen. Or tukon hen lao is like everyone saw that already. How embarrassing for you, <laughs> like this kind of thing. Um, Gemu means like a rematch. So um, after your fight, if you're like, oh, oh, my panai, my panai, like don't feel bad, my panai, uh, Gemu will have another fight, kind of thing. Um, and then I don't know if it's only female opponents or if it's because I'm farang or whatever. But some of my opponents, um, when you're hugging between rounds four and five. Um, to, you you have to like hug to like go into the fifth round and so like let's be sportsmen about this they'll say okay sorry so you can say it in English you can be like sorry as you're like going into your last round or if you want to say it in Thai it's kototna kototna and that's for men or women it's like um, yeah we're friends but I'm gonna kick your ass in round five <laughs> and then we go so uh, those are a few more things that you can say while you're messing around uh, in your training to make it more playful and fun and uh, 
play with your Thai trainers or play with some Thai while you're training. <laughs>